Today, we're going to break down the most common type of bladder cancer, which is known as non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, or often abbreviated as NMIBC. Now, it's important to remember that 90% of bladder cancers are actually confined to the bladder wall. And of that, about 75% are classified as NMIBC. Now, to better understand this particular diagnosis, let's zoom in on the bladder itself. And from there, we can see that there's a variety of different layers of the bladder. There's that outer wall, below that is a muscle layer, and below that is a fatty layer. So when we begin classifying different tumors, they can fall into about five different categories. The first is known as CIS, or carcinoma in situ, and that's just some abnormal cells that are on the outside of the bladder wall. Then we move into TA, which is where a clump of those cells actually begin to form on the bladder wall. And finally, T1, where that clump of cells begins to invade into the bladder wall. But all of those three types are known as NMIBC. But then once we move past that classification, that's when we exit NMIBC because T2 actually extends beyond the bladder wall and into the bladder muscles. And T3 extends even further into that fatty layer and it can lead to metastasis. So that's why it's really important for early diagnosis and early treatment of NMIBC before it gets to those later stages. And at 10 years, this has about a 70 to 85% survival rate.